state where you're not. Then the new definition. What is that definition? Fake news is a lie that masquerades itself as news. So may intention to lie at the mukhang balita. So yun yung parameter namin in selecting what fake news are. Given that, you'd be surprised that some examples that you thought were fake news does not satisfy that. Because if you lose, if you use some fake news loosely, medyo mahirap siyang atakihan, no? Um, pwede siya kasi the way it is used, pwede misinformation, disinformation, common mistakes, but that's not parading this news, no? So parang kumali yan, mali yan, kung siya malang siya, siya malang siya. Kasi yung mga doon example sa parang nagkamali lang talaga siya. Pero hindi siya nag-pretend to be news. By defining what fake news is, we want to separate journalism from what fake news is. We, by defining it, we strengthen what is news, quality in news usage, which is what? Based on facts, this is very viable, this is true, this is spoken of, may, may, nangyari siya. Fake news is entirely different, but it wants to appear as news. So, I think going into this, parang, it's a perfect time for GMA to come into this context. Kasi mag-election size of 2019, and there's going to be a lot more fake news than we are experiencing today. Right now, medyo hindi pa siya masyadong ginagamit. No? Sa states, mas medyo prevalent siya. Sa atin, ang criticism sa media is bias. Sometimes they call us fake news, but um, applying the strict definition, I don't think that will apply. So, lahat ba siya, uh, lahat ba ng media, hihimayin ng show? Like, pwedeng print, uh, TV, hindi lang social media? Hindi lang. Of course, where it comes from, we will tackle it. But this is not, I don't think this is, uh, uh, platform based because the information can come from anywhere, so it's going to be more of the information. Medyo, um, sec hindi ma secondary, but one of the elements in the fake news will have to be the platform, but not really just the platform. The focus is on the content, whether it's true or not. Basically, bottom line yan is fact checking. We're doing what journalists should be doing in this time, which is to be very careful with the facts you verify before you broadcast it. So, walang ganun kasing, um, I think, mechanism yung fake news purveyors. So, they just want, ano, cheese piece na labas, kunyari balita. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, to follow up, uh, Sir John. Sir John. Uh, Paperboard, John. John. <laughs> Wala nang, sir. Uh, <laughs> well, about fake news mm. per se, mm. it's very not apolitical. You will touch on subjects that have, because of course, uh, politics has definitely been using that particular form uh, for quite a while now, and it is still happening. Are you also going to delve into these personalities, these sources, and name them on the show? Alamo, in the conception stage and since we were able to do the first episode already, there's no escaping that. It's the white elephant that we have to talk about. How we talk about it, we have to do it the journey way. Hindi naman kami controversial. We have to be fair, we have to be very calm about it, be responsible. I know what you I know you Yeah. I know you know who I'm talking about. But I think the framing is important. We're not going to go into full war against all these people because that's not the point. They are not the enemy. What they produce is the enemy. All right. Um, Gabby, let's go on the lighter side of things. Thank um, you. Hi. All right. Uh, you're going to be sharing some of your personal experiences as well in this show. How, yes. how, how far are we going to get there? And, like, <laughs> you know, of course, uh, are you also going to be talking about uh, other things uh, like what Adam is going to do, like dating and stuff? Um, mine is more on hmm, what's trending for the for the teenagers, what the tips, um, beauty tips, and um, about my personal likes like music, traveling, and um, that's what we're going to talk about. Not the man. I think. The love life side is up to his show. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> Thank you. you can do it. Thanks for the trust, Gary. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> so yeah. Maybe maybe some yeah, like lifestyle stuff. Like maybe 
some high school crushes or whatever, but the deeper side should be tackled in the adult section. level up you Alright. Um, Adam, right now, you probably are aware that some people are really objectifying you oh, yeah. as a person. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> is that okay for you? And a second is also uh, yung, yung, uh, yung, uh, about dating stuff. Nobody saw you like dating someone else um, so in, one. in the public. <laughs> oh, will, will that be out in the open now that you're discussing this online? Okay, one at a time. <laughs> The first thing is uh, objectifying. You. Please define objectifying. Well, <laughs> everybody's in love with you. So, is that... Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you... You ask for it. Can you know objectification of my end love? <laughs> yeah. I mean, in a sense... Okay. Okay. Let, me, let, me, let me try to get a, a, a serious answer here. Alright. <laughs> um, I think objectification is, uh, has, has a lot to do with the gender context. Um, objectification of women is always problematic. When you switch things around, because of the uh, current context of society, it's not as bad. In fact, it's sometimes amusing. And if you ask me personally, I find it very amusing. Um, uh, but then again, you have to go back to uh, what kind of effect that has. Uh, I really don't know. I mean, uh, it's really up to people to discuss what kind of net effect that has. Some people say it empowers women also to, to do the same to men. Uh, but on the flip side, baka naman it means that we can do that uh, willy-nilly kahit kanino na lang. So mm -hmm. if that happens, you do that to women, that's that's very problematic to me. Um, so I can laugh about it, it's really no problem. Um, but I hope it kind of opens up a discussion also about uh, how we should uh, Treat men, well. Treat men and women also and online because uh, this kind of thing happens for free flowing online. Um, in terms of relationships, um, which we will tackle in, in the program, that only that has to come from a from a place of truth. Thing. So definitely, I'm not gonna sit there and like talk from an ivory tower about what people should or shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. It's it's also coming from my own experience. But not just my experience, because my experience is very narrow compared to like the broad experience of all people out there who live and love and get their hearts broken. So um, we're gonna mix it up. Uh, Have so. you ever had your heart broken? Sure, a lot of, of times. So what? A lot of times. Uh, enough times. <laughs> <laughs> enough times for it to matter. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. So um, I have a 